Yo, what's up guys? Today we will be reading fan fiction, Diary of a Wimpy Kid Squid Game. Now I know I've not been uploading for a while because, um, well, because I'm like working on my Diary of a Wimpy Kid Squid Game. No, not Squid Game. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, um, Ohio, uh, like my Ohio fan fiction. So, um, yeah. In the meantime, while I do that, I'm, like, facing, like, other problems, like, you know, like, family problems, and, like, all those problems, so, uh, I decided I might, uh, you guys might forget about me, <laughs> so, uh, so I'm going to, like, upload, I wasn't planning to upload today, I wanted to upload, like, tomorrow, but, um, I had no time over there, because, um, I'm just finished with my, like, um, uh, uh, school troubles and all so okay so i got a free time and i want to f uh, uh finish it like read at least one uh diary of a wimpy kid a fan fiction book by someone else you know like to just pass the time a little bit so yeah okay so today we'll be reading diary for wimpy kid squid game by you slash john was never so let's just get into it december Monday. To shorten it all out, I met this guy in a suit while I was walking home from school. We played this stupid game with these envelopes. After the whole thing, I got $10,000 out of it. He told me I can do more games like that, like that one, and he gave me a business card with a phone number on it. I can win game I can win kid games like this, like that. It'll be a piece of cake. Before I went, I called Rowley and a few others so they can play with me. If we all play, I have a better chance of winning. Tuesday, the next day we met up, we all met up down the block. When the van came, we all caught in. We all got in. I don't remember what happened next because I woke up in this giant room with people wearing sweats, including me. I just pushed it all aside and met up with everyone again. Then all these men in pink, in pink suits came through the, came through this giant door and explained the rules. Then they took us to the first room for the first game. All it was was the red light, green light. But the person or thing that was calling red light, green light was this giant robot child or something. As we started the game at five minutes, I was already ahead of everyone else except Ruby Bird. Don't ask why she's he. she was here. I saw her wobble a bit and she was shot. Like, holy shit, when they, when they said you'll get eliminated, I didn't think they meant die. A bunch of people decided to be stupid and run away, but they all died. I just kept my cool and went through the game like it was nothing. Thankfully, Rowley, Fregley, and Chirag are, are still alive. When we got back to the main room, they put the prize money in this giant pig. For a pers for each person who dies, they add one hundred thousand dollars or one hundred million dollars. I have to win. When is day. The next day I met up with Rowley and the gang and explained how we're gonna how work this together if we're gonna want if we're gonna wanna win this thing. What? When we all were led into the next room, the guards told us that we had to pick f it from four shapes, a circle, a triangle, a circle, a triangle, star, and an umbrella. I told the gang that we should all pick something different because we didn't know what the next game was gonna be. Fregley chose triangle, Chirag chose circle, Rowley chose umbrella, and I chose star. I chose star because that is what I am gonna be when I won. As you saw in the last drawing, the guards gave us all the cookies with the shapes we chose. Then they said we had to cut them out with a needle. We are screwed. We, ha we only had 10 minutes and it didn't help that the guard had a gun in m at my head. Not to mention, Fregley picked triangle and he passed in no time. After a while, I found out that if you lick the cookies... They melt, which makes them easier to break. I informed Rowley and Chirag on what to do, and we all passed. The next day, we had to be in teams of five, so me and the gang teamed up, but we needed one more player. Then I saw Roderick. I asked him why he was here, and he said he heard about the games too, so he decided to join. 
I asked the gang and if Roderick could join and they and they didn't mind. Okay. Anyway, we headed to the next game and it was basically tug of war, but like a thousand feet in the air. If you lose, you fall to your death. Our team went first. Luckily, we won because Roderick basically carried the whole team. Friday. Today, all of us had to be in pairs of two. I, imedi I immediately chose Roderick after what I, because after I saw what he was made of yesterday, I needed to be his partner. Then we were taken to the next game. We were sent to a room that kind of resembled an alleyway or something. And then the guards gave everyone a bag of ten marbles each. And then the announcer said whoever, that whoever teammate steals all of the partner's marbles wins. Things immediately fell to slow motion. I almost fainted. That that meant either Roderick or I live. I opened my mouth I was about, as I was about to say something into Roderick, but he grabbed my hand and placed the and placed his bag of marbles on it. I asked him why, and he said he doesn't have the he doesn't have a chance at being a professional drummer. I was speechless. I was speechless. Okay. Roderick told me Roderick told me to make my dreams come true. Then he punched the guard. The guard shot him in the blink of an eye. They made me leave the room. That was the last time I ever saw my brother. The next thing you know, I'm back in the normal room. After a while, Fregley came in. And a little later, Rowley did too. Shirag never came back. Sh Shirag was m my partner. Saturday, we have two games left. They were obviously going to make the games harder, which is bad. Because... I've already been messed up of what happened the other day. For the next game, the guards brought us to a white room with ten numbered vests. Uh, there were ten people left. Fregley went first, and I chose ten. I told Raleigh to choose one just to be safe, and I chose two. Everyone else put on vests, and we all went to the next room. And it was at least a thousand feet in the air, just like the tug of war game. It had two rows acro going, acro going across the room to the other side. Each row had square air panels of glass spread f apart from each other. Some were weak glass and some were strong. Then we all had to go from starting to ten. Fregley went first. He obviously died. I'm a beautiful butterfly! What? Unfortunately, or, or maybe unfortunately... Or maybe fortunately, everyone else who went had died. The only people left was me and Rowley. Luckily, I had an idea. I just spread my arms and legs across and crawled to the other side. Rowley and I did the same. Me, Rowley, me and Rowley, both are the last survivors. We, When we got back to the main room, the guards gave us both fancy suits and we ate a really fancy dinner. I see what you're doing there. After a long, after the long day, me and Rowley just sat down and had a conversation. It would, it would probably be our last normal conversation. Sunday. Today is the last of the day. I'm ready to play the game. The guards took me and Rowley to the room where uh, we would be playing an, an, an infamous squid game. Just kidding. We are. Uh, we were doing a one v one. Me and Rowley both got a pistol. Greg, I need to confess. I need that money. Rowley, Rowley, Rowley. Joshi once said, "Respect your parents," but he never said, "Respect your friends." Psst. The end. So if you guys enjoyed, smack that like button. And subscribe, I am trying to like get at least 10 subscribers or at least 30 or so, at least something like that. So if you could, it would really appreciate, you would really appreciate me and help me if you do that. Next time, bye bye and peace out.